Hello everybody, happy Thursday. I actually, Charles, I woke up this morning, he's like, happy Thursday, baby. It's like, it's Tuesday. I swear I lost a couple days somehow. Don't know what happened there, <laughs> but it is Thursday. Um, and that is my favorite day of the week. If you guys are new, you might not know. So Thursday is the day that my husband and I say happy Thursday every Thursday. It never fails. Maybe once or twice ever since we've been together, we haven't said it. It was the day that we met. And so since the day we met, every Thursday we say happy Thursday and celebrate us meeting. <laughs> so that's a little bit of why we celebrate Thursday. Um, but anyway, today we did some mowing. We got in the flooring yesterday. So Charles picked that up. So I'll share that with you. And then I also wanted to share with you guys something we are going to do. Um, I had brought up with the family and I'm like, let's do whole 30 because we have all the stuff around here. And it's a great thing. And the kids are like, no, 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 no. And I, I was like, yeah, all right. So we found this other challenge this 30 days. And it is called the single ingredient challenge. <laughs> Sounds crazy, but I think it'll be super easy. There is tiny, tiny rules. One, only eat foods with no ingredients on it, like apples, bananas, and potatoes and stuff. Or you eat food with one ingredient and is allowed to have salt or water as an ingredient and that's totally okay. And no food group is out, but you're supposed to avoid white sugar and white flour. That's it, that's your only rules. So for our using up our food storage, that's like pretty perfect challenge for us because we have tons of grains, tons of beans. We had plenty of um, ground turkey and stuff like that in our freezer, tons of frozen fruits and veg. And, you know, we're trying to clear out our pantry and freezer. If you guys missed that yesterday on the pantry and freezer challenge. So I thought I would just let you guys know that because that is, I think, so easy to do. And I think it's going to be a great, uh, you know, they say it's the best way to just cut all processed food because there's no processed food that you can really have that has only one ingredient. So it's just like a, a healthy kind of 30 day jump start summer kind of thing. So that is what we're gonna do. I thought I'd share it in case any of you wanna jump on board. We will be live tomorrow night at 7 p.m. We have switched to every other Friday if you guys recall. So we'll be live. Any questions you guys wanna ask us about anything, you know we're there for you. You guys can ask us whatever you want. We always try to answer and we always try to be as honest as possible. Um. What else is going on? I'm trying to think. Oh, so I wasn't going to do really a lot of food with you guys. But during that 30 day challenge that we're doing that, it's going to be such easy food and easy recipes that um, I will share it with you. I can't promise that I'll get breakfast, lunch, dinner, and every snack and everything in between. But I will share with you whatever I catch. Um, everybody will kind of eat their own thing too. Like, you know, just snacking on fruits and veg and and whatever they want to snack on. But when we actually make something, then I will try to uh, share that with you. And yeah, I think that's about it. So that is our 30 day challenge. We're doing our pantry and freezer challenge. That's until we move. And we are on day um, 13 of our 100 day challenge that we're what? doing to get our house ready to sell. Don't cook it now. So oh, are you, now. you're doing the corn without me? No. Oh, honey, please put the, the stuff in the garbage then. Oh, we're making fried corn tonight. <laughs> See, had some corn and I had it sitting out. So Luke has begun to shuck the corn. <laughs> so here is real quick Charles with yesterday. And then, um, like I said, I was mowing. And then I'm going to make fried corn with you guys tonight. Don't forget to let me know down below if you guys are going to join in on this 30-day challenge of single ingredient food. All right, here's yesterday. All right guys, so it is uh, still Wednesday and we got a little bit of a break in the rain. So I needed to go to Home Depot and pick up my floor order. I will say this is the heaviest load I have probably ever hauled, um, but the truck is handling it fantastic. Uh, she's a trooper. And as you can see, I have 
uh, 57 boxes of flooring to get brought into the house so I'm gonna get working on that and uh, I think the big thing is trying to find a place to put it all until we're ready to use it so uh, on with the unload what I threw in the crock pot for dinner. That's, honestly, we're just, <laughs> we're really busy and some meals are being kept very simple. Everybody made some smoothies this morning. Look, has something going on over there. Um, so here is dinner. All I did is, I'm, this is like everything with the kitchen sink stew. <laughs> I have a beef roast in there and then I had some onions that I needed to use up, some tomatoes that needed used up, uh, mushrooms, and I have a whole bunch of potatoes in there and then I have a chuck roast and I added some soy sauce, some Worcestershire sauce, a ton of garlic, um, try and think some, some salt and I think that's everything um, that I added to that. So that is going to be our dinner. Hey, you shuck the corn. What am I supposed to do with it? You need to cook it. Well, are you going to get the rest of the corn over there? Yep. Are you gonna get it off? It's called shucking the corn. Oh, you're getting those ears. Okay. Likely the light of mine will burn out. The mountains where I spend my rambling years. I paid my sins from the poor traveling days. Oh Lord, please, can you hear my prayers? So I rode my body up the mountain, up the mountain to a place where I can sit my rocking chair. I rode my body up the mountain, up the mountain, and I'm never going back again. I swear. Most likely the son of mine will be found. The mountains where I'm born and raised I paid my duty It's the sunny side cutie Oh Lord, hear the sorrow in my heart So I rode my body, body. Oh. Right there. 
Paul has a headache. And Theo's trying to find his boo boo. <laughs> Theo, don't see it. Well, maybe you just better kiss his head then and make it better. <laughs> Did you fall down? All right. Do you better just kiss his head then and make it better? Be careful, Theo. You might fall. Theo, other side, other side. And what is this? And what is this? What is it? What is it? Yeah. Did you find it? Did you find Paul's boo boo? I don't see it. You don't see it. <laughs> I love you, baby boy. I, I don't know where it is. It's inside his head. Maybe knock on his head and see if he answers. You don't find it. You didn't find it. <laughs> it is about 5.30. It's time to go make this corn. The kids got all of it shucked. And now I'm going to turn it into fried corn. And I think I'm just gonna throw some, we have some canned biscuits, like I think one can left. I'm just gonna throw that in the oven, do some canned biscuits. And just whatever other size I feel like I can make it, but I thought I'd make the fried corn with you guys. And Charles just came up and he said, he's done. He is on a four day vacation, which means we're gonna roll out a lot of stuff. Then he works Tuesday, then he's got two more days of vacation. And so we should get a lot done. You guys don't want to miss it. Should be able to get a lot done in that time. Plus, today's supposed to be the last rainy day. We're supposed to have a break. Start going in 70s tomorrow and then 80s. And um, hopefully a whole lot's going to get done. So, fingers crossed. Let's go make some corn. Okay, if you've never made fried corn, it's so easy. Just start with a stick of butter. And I'm going to get that melted while I go do my corn uh, you're recording now. okay so all you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the corn off the cob and you want to do it in a dish because it's going to fly everywhere and then with your dull side after you do this you're gonna go over your corn like this with the dull side and you'll see Try and get it up close here so you can see. All this milky substance comes out. That is what is going to make your fried corn creamy. I know some of you definitely know how to make fried corn, but there are some people that do not. And it is so delicious. Where is it? Where's what, baby? Here, you can have those. Oh, you licked it. Stay back. This is sharp. You can give me the next one. Wow, you are missing out. Yeah, I'm cooking it. Oh, he brought his cup. I went and picked it up. He needed more. My butter is going, going, going. And just take it off, hun. That's all right. And then we're going to add that to our butter. All that corn and goodness. Then to that, we're going to add salt and pepper. I just have this salt right here. It looks awful excited. This is flaky sea salt. And just some plain old black pepper. And I like a lot of pepper in ours. And just kind of stir this up. Get it all covered in the butter. Sometimes people add bacon grease to this too. 
Um, that's very good. We're just gonna kind of leave this alone now and let it cook, stirring occasionally until it's all creamed up. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit more pepper. I would taste it and do that taste. This only takes about 10 or 15 minutes. It goes pretty quick. Okay, so here is dinner tonight. We have some biscuits, corn on the cob, some of our peaches. We got these from the peach truck and they are so good. Theo's being so silly. Um, we get them from, like I said, the peach truck and then I can them and they are just, the peach truck has the best peaches. Um, and some stuffing, green beans. Here is the roast with all the potatoes and carrots and all that stuff and the fried corn that's everything we are going to eat tonight okay guys i'm going to wrap this up because we're doing dinner and we will see you guys 7 p.m tomorrow eastern standard time we will be live for those of you that want to join us otherwise we will have a video up for you guys again on sunday and we will just share with you everything that we get done tomorrow because like i said with him on vacation we're going to start rolling some stuff out I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful evening, and we will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.